go to Google and type in Skype. When the search results come up, clicking download doesn't immediately download the file, but takes you to the page that you download from. If the price of the premium version of Skype is in dollars, then you know you're on the American page. If you go to the top of the page where it says English American, click it and select English British. The screen will refresh and will then be displayed in pounds. I'm not sure if there are technical differences between the American and British free versions, but in case there are. On the left of the page, under Skype Free, you can click the download link there. If it doesn't start in a few seconds, then you can click Try Again. I've just saved it to the desktop, as it's easy to find and easy to scan for any problems. It may take a minute or two to download, depending on your connection speed. But it's not that large a file, and it's not even everything that's needed to set up Skype because some of the other files it downloads at the point that it's installing them. And if we go to our desktop now, there it is.